Alright, so what is going on guys? Now in today's video, I am going to be giving you a full tutorial on how to stream to YouTube gaming and this can apply to Twitch or really whatever you want. But everything that I do in my stream, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do in this video. So to donation pop-ups, to subscriber pop-ups, to um, goals um, that will show like goal of like $60 or something, to show how to do background music. Um, pretty much everything that I have in my stream, overlays, all of that stuff, I will be showing you how to do in today's video. So first I wanted to mention that this is going to be with OBS. It's a program that I use and that's what we're going to be using. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, uh, the first thing is we're going to set up a Twitch Alerts account. So go ahead and set up a Twitch Alerts account, guys. So after you have set up that account, go ahead and go to OBS and you're gonna wanna go ahead and download the OBS Classic, the newest one, which is right here for Windows 7, 8, or 10. So once that is downloaded and you have a Twitch Alerts account and OBS is installed, you're gonna wanna go ahead and launch OBS. So I already have one set up here, but just for this video, we're gonna go ahead and set everything up from scratch. So what you're gonna wanna do is right click right here and click Add Scene name it whatever you want I'm gonna name it uh, scene 10 okay and then what you're gonna want to do um, this is if you're using like a ps4 Xbox one you're gonna want to go add a video capture device now if it's like your screen you would just go to monitor capture but in this case it's gonna be console so I'm gonna go ahead and do video capture device uh, let's go with name it whatever you guys want I'm gonna name it ps4 and device, uh, don't really change anything in here, but if you wanna change like how loud this device is, here's the audio for it. I'm gonna, what I usually like to do, so this will be like a game volume, I'm gonna put it to like 45, so it's not like overwhelming everybody, put that to like 45. And what we can do is we can preview the stream right here as well, just to make sure it's all working. So I click preview and we should get a screen. There we go, there's a the PS4 right there. So we got a preview. So now let's actually go ahead and add your overlay. Now uh, make sure you guys have an overlay all set up. I'm gonna name this image 10. There we go. And uh, find your overlay, which mine is right here. And we're gonna go ahead and click OK and click on the image and click edit scene. And then that way you can drag it and resize it to how you like so I'm gonna just resize it to right there and then you can click off of edit scene and there you go your overlay is in now let's go ahead and go over um, all the donation alerts and stuff like that so you're gonna want to go back onto twitchalerts.com so what you're gonna want to do is go over to twitch alerts click on alert box and you're gonna want to copy this link right here then you're gonna want to go into here and click add and then CLR browser and you might not have this uh, CLR browser stuff installed so you can just go on Google and click uh, CLR browser plugin for OBS if you guys like are missing it or anything but that should be all you have to do and then you're gonna want to click uh, paste the URL in here click paste and I pretty much I guess leave everything how it is and once you have the CLR browser you should be able to do some stuff like if you want to do test uh, donation alert there we go so electric shock donated $85 and then it will of course give you a sound now if you want to go ahead and change that sound or whatever you can just go here donations and you can change how the text is, you can change if it's enabled or disabled, alert animation, fade in, fade out, do whatever you guys want. Uh, the Just leave all of this, min, minimum amount to alert, you guys can change that. Uh, the text animation, I have it on this one. And the image, you can pick an image, but I don't really have one. Sound, this is a sound that, it's a called pressure, so it's like suspense, so I put that one up there and sound volume alert dur uh, dur duration that yeah, can't say duration damn it. but that's pretty much it for that 
Now, I also have a donation goal right here. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this link. I'm going to go back into OBS and I'm going to do another CLR browser. Um, okay, and I'm going to paste it into here. So there we go, and you can click edit scene, and you can move it uh, to anywhere you want, and there is like uh, your donation goal. So I'm just going to put it right over there, off of edit scene, and there we go. So we've got the stream set up, we've got um, all of your overlay, we've got top donators if you guys want to put those in. You've got a donation goal, a donation goal, and also the donations are set up. So if anybody donates, it will show up. Also, just make sure to set up all your um, uh, donation stuff and all the PayPal and all of that. So all of that works, and you just go into donation settings and set up all that. Now the actual um, subscriptions don't really work. It's only it only really works for Twitch. It's really, really complicated if you want to do it for YouTube. So honestly, I just wouldn't do it, but it is really complicated. And you guys would probably have to look up another video for that because it's just, I didn't even want to do it because it was so complicated. So you're going to have game sound now and your voice, but now you want to have like some background music or something like that. So what you're going to want to do, um, I usually go and I will just um, open right click here, Windows Media Player. And I'll go into here and what I can do is I can put a whole bunch on this list to do a next and once again guys if you're streaming to YouTube you have to watch out because some stuff can be copyrighted so I use only non copyrighted music but I'll just put a whole bunch of music in here and I usually put it at around like three to five or something so everybody can just barely hear it so now that you pretty much have everything set up, you got to set up the actual stream settings and all of that good stuff. So we're going to go ahead and go into settings here and leave all this how it is. I mean, if your language is different, you can go ahead and change that. And this is pretty much how mine works. Now, I have all these settings right here. I would use this encoder and stuff like this, uh, UCBR and all that stuff. Now, this is very important. Um, my internet is around, it, it really does, it like changes, it goes from like 1 megabyte upload to like 5 megabytes upload, so I try to keep it at like 900, but whatever you guys get for your upload on your internet, take it down a little bit and then put a number in here. Don't put your full upload or you might lag when you game. So for instance. If your upload is around two megabytes, you should put this at like a thousand or maybe fifteen hundred if you want. Or if it's if your upload is like, um, but if your upload is like five megabytes a second, I would put this at maybe like thirty five hundred or something like that. But just always lower it a little bit more than what your actual upload speed is, so you don't lag in game so this will lower the quality of the stream but it will make it so you don't lag when you're actually playing and streaming so here comes the important part broadcast settings so the mode live stream service uh youtube slash youtube gaming uh primary youtube uh server stuff like that and path and uh stream key so what you're going to want to do to find this is go ahead and go to your youtube so you're going to want to go to your video manager here and then go to live streaming. And I usually click on events. And what you're going to want to do is schedule a new event. And set your title, set when you want it to start, public scheduled uh, or public you unlisted private, all that stuff. And do all of this, set it all up. So I'm going to set it as test and private and I'm just going to set all this up just because as private because uh, I don't want anybody to see any of this because it's just for a video. So we're going to do create event and then you're going to want to um, add a thumbnail. Do it whatever you want but just do it uh, a simple thumbnail for your video. And then you're going to want to select a bitrate here. So I would usually just go for 720p so you don't like lay too much or anything in game. I would go for 720p. And then you're going to want to copy this key right here under stream name. 
copy the key and paste it right in here and then you're pretty much all set up to go so make sure you have all this copied set it wherever you want um, I'm gonna do apply and video you guys uh, mine is custom at 1280 by 720 I would just put it to here copy all these settings and try streaming out at, at this at what I have and you guys can change it as you go here's where you set up your microphone it's in audio right here um, you guys can do all that leave this at default and that is pretty much it honestly and then what I will pretty much do is I will go to the live control room and what I'll do is I'll click uh, stop preview and then once this loads I click start streaming it's gonna lag a little bit and take a little bit guys just because that's how it works so I'm gonna do start streaming and then YouTube should show there we go the health is good I'm gonna click preview okay then it's gonna prepare the live stream make sure the quality is good make sure everything is good and then you can click start streaming okay so you are currently streaming right now and um, what you can do you can go ahead and watch it and uh, but right now I have mine scheduled so it's not gonna start for a while but it is streaming it's all good and you can go into a window right here and it is the chat and everything and it will have your whole chat so what I pretty much do is I'll just put this over here I'll drag it over to my second screen up oh, there's PewDiePie oh crap what did I do so you are oh there's a stream there's a stream nice it's in there all right so the streams up in there uh, this is my chat so pretty much um, what I'll do is I'll take this chat and I'll just drag it over to my second screen and I will monitor the chat and stuff like that and um, here I guess the live stream is actually working He's streaming now. right now and um, what you can do you can go ahead and watch it and but right now I have mine scheduled so it's oh there's a stream there's a stream nice it's in there all right so the stream so there's pretty much all of it guys it's working perfectly and you can go ahead and add some background sound background music whatever you guys want so I'm gonna do stop streaming here and there we go so usually when I'm done with the stream I'll leave it up for a little bit and then I'll just go ahead and delete it because I really don't like to leave videos that are like two three hours up on my channel and then that's pretty much it uh, just do stop streaming in OBS and that's pretty much it for streaming I don't really do much more to be honest um, I have a few moderators in the YouTube chat and I do find that YouTube is one of the best uh, places to stream um, on the internet I really do like YouTube and I'm trying to grow my YouTube channel not twitch or anything else so it is pretty smart that I uh, do stream on twitch uh, on YouTube and if you guys are trying to grow your YouTube I would stream on YouTube if you're trying to grow your twitch stream on twitch it's really what you guys are trying to grow so that is pretty much it guys i hope you enjoyed if you have any questions at all make sure to leave them in the comments below and i will answer them as soon as possible and as much in as much detail as possible thank you guys so much for watching if you did make sure to strike the like button and i will catch you guys in my next video peace out